Bem-vindo, Bem-vindo mais Timor-Leste! Timor Leste, a beautiful place somewhere between Indonesia and Australia. Chances are you don't know much about it, but this half island nation on the southern tip of Southeast Asia is making headlines in the LGBT world thanks to a guy named Nata. Hi guys! Nata was born and raised in Timor Leste, which was under Indonesian occupation until its independence in 2002, making it the fifth newest country in the world. The majority of recognition his country gets is for biodiversity and political struggles. Not not LGBT rights. As a predominantly Christian country, LGBT people have had a tough time freely being themselves. These are just some really bad terms. And having their families accept them. Growing up, I was very positive. I mean, I, mean, I was hiding myself. Growing up was a bit difficult because I always felt that I was different. I always felt a bit more like feminine. After being abroad for eight years, Nata came home feeling different and wanted a change. And I want not just myself, but kids like me, to grow up feeling safe, feeling like they're in their own country, feeling accepted. So he got together with some friends to start a youth group. Hi, my name is Pepito. Hi, my name is Maria. The group started in 2016. 16, yes. I'm an open-minded people. I hang around with them a lot. It's not about you gay or straight, it's just yeah. about we're promoting social inclusion and acceptance of everyone regardless of their differences. Last year, their youth group helped organize the first LGBT pride parade in Timor Leste. We started here, we walked uh, over to the government palace, and then we came back here and then we had the performances here there were around 500 people that attended the pride parade I guess for you know some countries it was nothing but for us it was a lot especially in being a small country where the topic has never really been talked about and it was the first pride parade like having 500 people walking on the street you know calling for social inclusion and acceptance and diversity it actually it meant a lot this was such a pivotal event that the prime minister showed his support é uma rota e a potencial a tu contribui para o desenvolvimento na São Né inclui membros de uma comunidade LGBT, que é lesbian, gay, bisexual, não transgender. Ida, vai rotu rotu, rotu rotu, vai ida. For me, specifically, especially you know, growing up during the struggle of independence and stuff, like you know, it reminded me of that as well. You know, like the day of the Pride Parade reminded me of the Independence Day in 2002. Like I had the same feeling. You know, I got really emotional, and I know that I wasn't the only person who had that feeling. Like we were sort of making history. You know, it was the first Pride Parade in the country. Beyond the Pride Parade, Nata supports a transgender clinic called Codiva that does HIV testing. Uh, we are about to go see the only transgender clinic in Timor Leste. Uh, my name is uh, Romiati. My name is Pepe. My position here as like a transgender program officer. Oh, uh, the clinic opened in 2017 on September. The community or the community uh, transgender is uh, comfortable for uh, access testing in the clinic. So Nara, what's next? This year we're doing a second pride parade around the end of June. So anyone who would like to visit Timor, visit you know, one of the youngest countries in the world. Yes, an this is an unofficial invitation. <laughs> Definitely come, you know, we, we organized a second Pride Parade this year. Guys, that was an official <laughs> invite from him to come visit this country. And I'm telling you, I arrived here today this place is absolutely stunning. You have amazing coastline, white sanded beaches. You have the Jesus Christ statue on top of the mountain, which we visited <laughs> earlier today. Yes. I'm staring at it right now. Uh, friendly people everywhere. I mean, this place is pretty much as amazing as it gets. And it's so easy to get here from Bali. It's only like a $50 one-way flight. There's three flights a day. It was inspiring to meet Nata and see how he's making a change in Timor Leste. If you want to stay updated with him and his youth group, join them on Facebook, Hatutan. Just type Hatutan, H-A-T. T-A-N, we'll, you know, we'll post stuff there. Appreciate it. Obrigado. Yes. Uh, Great, man. Nada. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.